Hey guys, uh, here to show you how to use Orange Slice for your own custom rubric. What I have here is my Google Classroom for my Tech PD. I'm going to open up this person's document and go into it. Uh, from here, I've already hit Add on Orange Slice Teach Rubric Score Rubric, and this comes up on the right here. Um, I'm going to click go from Descending, and then when it says Performance Levels, I'm going to say I'll create my own. I'm going to skip over all of the pre-made ones and say, I got this. Um, here it's going to say customize. Here the big thing to note is you need to make sure rubric categories stays in the top left corner. So when I say create rubric, it's going to come up. I can see rubric categories is here. I need to make sure that stays. Um, I have my rubric here made in Google sheets uh, what i have to do first is get rid of any excess so anything that's not exactly what you're going to grade on so i'm going to get rid of this focus development i need to delete that row i'm going to come down to organization delete that row language i need to delete that row and conventions I need to delete that row now the only things that will be in my rubric are things that i'm actually grading so I'm going to start up at criteria, go over to my exceeding, and I'm going to copy all this using control C. I go back into my document. Remember, we need rubric categories to stay here. So I'm going to have to retype that in in a second. But for now, I'm going to paste in my, my rubric. Since it's a large document, it's going to take a little bit. Criteria, we have to change back now to rubric categories. That's just help symbolize to orange, orange slice where this table begins. Now you can see that all the information is right in here, even with this huge lengthy rubric. Now my next option here, score rubric. It's going to take a second to upload all that into Orange Slice. I'm going to click, say, Analysis Total Points. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 different categories, so that times 4, we're going to end up with 44 total points. Performance points. Where did we go? Rubric type. This is performance points. 1, 1 and a half, 2, 3, 3 and a half, 4. You can see that it already copied mine from above. As I slide down to grades, now it'll give me the option to grade right in the assignment. So let's say this person received a two. Notice how it automatically goes down to the next one. I'm gonna go all twos here, just to make our life easy and fast. Uh, two, okay, we'll give you one three, couple threes, two, two, three, two, uh, if you wanted to, you can make some grading adjustments, some extra credit, a late penalty, plagiarizing penalty. Uh, that's up to you. Um, from there, I'm going to click Finish. Um, you have two options. You can process review. If you want this to be kind of a first draft, um, you would use process review. That way, you could come back later and use process grade, and it would show students how well they improved, actually. So I'm going to click process grade now. We'll give it a second. You can see it's thinking by this gray circle. And it comes up and you can see that it was highlighted for each category in orange where that student scored. And you have a full rubric that your student has. Um, this is also something that when another teacher opens up, um, a co-teacher in your orange or in your Google Classroom opens up, this you can see i have three different co-teachers they can actually make adjustments to this as well by going through the same process of opening up orange slice and regrading uh, orange slice keeps the latest grades um, so the last person that grades it that will be kind of the final or the one that shows to the student i hope this helped thanks